We're all aware that somebody picks our food, but we don't think about it a lot at the grocery store. This tomato did not get here on its own. There's a person who picked that tomato, and we as rabbis stand in support of that person who picked the tomato, and we believe that that person needs better wages and better working conditions. Las condiciones de trabajo que enfrentamos son difíciles. En situaciones han habido compañeros han sido robados con casi todo, han sido robados con todo su salario. Compañeros que son uh, maltratados, compañeros que son amenazados. Si ellos tratan de escapar, si ellos tratan de cambiarse de patrón. Uh, en eso, pues la coalición eh, está ayudando para que esas condiciones uh, cambien. The Fair Food Standards Council was established to monitor and ensure compliance with the very hard-fought agreements that the Coalition of Immokalee Workers has in the tomato industry in Florida. I believe that the Coalition of Immokalee Workers is doing the most innovative work on ending human trafficking because they do so not just by educating people about slavery, but by getting at the root causes of why these conditions persist in our country, such as violence and wage theft and low wages. And they also have a really strategic campaign to involve consumers and people of faith in challenging corporations to do better, to live up to their values. Llegar hasta las corporaciones para pedirles a ellos que ayuden a implementar, que ayuden a cambiar lo que son las condiciones de los trabajadores. One of the great things we do on the trips is that we take the rabbis to do a public action at one of the public supermarkets. Publix is the major grocery store in the South, and they haven't signed a fair food agreement. They've said if there are atrocities happening in our backyard, it's not our responsibilities. We went to the tomato section, and then we began to do a prayer circle. At the same time as we were all singing, a couple of the rabbis were giving out flyers to the shoppers and to the store to explain to them why all of a sudden there were a group of rabbis singing and chanting in their tomato section. It's uh, really been eye-opening for me. I drove here. This is really in our backyard. To not be aware of what's going on here uh, is really to allow for sin to be going on uh, under our noses and for us to pretend as if it doesn't exist. There is uh, a pride and there is a real power in people coming together here in Immokalee to make their lives better, but there's also a real history of exploitation and uh, a real potential for abuse. It has been an extraordinary opportunity to be here, to see the exquisite work of uh, the CIW and the partnership that Trua has built uh, over the past couple of years. The rabbis who come here are transformed and they're inspired to go back to their congregations and get them involved with this fight for justice to hear the stories of how they are learning to these workers to find their own voices, to report incidents of abuse and injustice. It's been remarkably inspiring. Gracias a la responsabilidad social que han tomado las 11 corporaciones y que hoy trabajadores, rancheros y corporaciones estamos más a gusto, estamos más tranquilos de poder hacer ser parte de lo que es este nuevo día que se está reflejando dentro del lugar del trabajo. The Fair Food Program has given out more than $7 million to workers since the beginning of 2011. That's a lot of money and it's making a real difference in the workers' lives. We're not just shoppers, we're the moral voice of the Jewish community. And the rabbis want to say that to their congregants. You can be part of the solution. What we're doing here and the reason why I wanted to come here is um, to live the message of Torah. That this is the, the terdof, we're told tzedek tzedek terdof, justice you shall pursue. Uh, so here we're all road faith tzedek, we're all pursuers of justice, um, trying to live God's will.